So we're just about to start the second quarter. Bombers versus Novas. And off we go. So Toka wins the ruck again. And a good kick there from Stellmaker. No mark do. Hanley almost won it. And Barnett gets it out. A good tackle from Georgia Butler. Dorney and Lashley running hard. A good tackle from Dorney. Dorney gives Donato a little push. So the umpire blows the whistle and it will be a throw in Lashley and Toker in the ruck. And the ball go out in the fall again. The football's thrown up again. And we've still got another tight contest in the Novas forward line. So the Novas will be kicking towards the car park. And the Bombers will be kicking towards Tumby Creek. Toko gets it out. Just a little dribble kick. And Kelleher gives a little don't argue and gets it out. Paige almost wins it. And that's a good tackle from Kelleher. It's another free kick to the Bombers. A good kick from Kelleher. And a beautiful chess mark there from, from Catherine Stellmaker. She was also a member of the Newcastle reps team that played last week as well, up at Ferrodale Oval in Madawi, which is the home of the Port Stephens Power. Tori McDonald-Stewart runs hard, not quick enough to bring down Chiara Lamb, I think it might be. She's been put in the, in the half forward now, I believe. And the football is now on the far end of the ground towards the baseball fence. The ball out to Stelmaker. Stelmaker gets it out again. Healy gets it out again, out left. And a good kick from Hanley. She won it quite well there. Toko gets it done, Aki. Hermos to Wood. Wood gets it out. And no mark do. Dixie Butler handles to the wrong player. It's not like she meant to do it, so that's okay. And Paige goes to pick it up and tries getting it out. He's absolutely gone. And it's a free, it's a free kick to none of the teams, but to the umpire who will throw it up. Kleinenvale might have another chance to score if they get to the football in time. Kelleher decided that soccering there to the left was a good idea. Unfortunately, it isn't. Goes out and hits the Bendigo Bank sign. So the umpire will throw it in. And no one touched the ball that time in the ruck. And that will be another goal there from Tanika Eslick, number two. So Kalani Vale increased the lead from 9 to 15. So the umpire brings the football back in. Ready to keep the game up and running. So up in the ruck is Tanil Toka and Jessica Lashley. And no mark do. It's not even a mark at all, it's just a contest. Umpire blew the whistle because no one was able to grab the football without making it out alive in one piece. And Paige pumps it to the side and it will go out in the full again, maybe not. And 
Um, the Novas seem like they can quickly get the ball back out onto the wing. There's almost a high there from Tory McDonald Stewart. Stellmaker gives a handball out and another good kick from the Novas. And I think Courtney Barnett looked like she got tripped over there, but that's okay. I don't think she doesn't seem to care at all. And another tight contest. The umpire blows a whistle. It's a free kick to the Novas. To still make. I didn't see who was there, but I think it might have been Lashley. Dorney wins the football and gets away and a good kick. Popped a pretty big bump there from White. Speaking of the surname White, we also have Cassie White who is returning back to the Bombers after her last time playing for them was last year. So welcome back Cassie White, welcome back to the Bombers. She's number 34 and I think she's still on the bench. A good kick from Ashley Page and to the wrong player, right to Stellmaker and a good mark there from Melanie Roberts. Melanie Roberts goes short and who's there and it's no mark do. And whoever dropped the mark seemed to put her head down a little bit as well. So Lashley goes out to the 50. To Neil Toker. Hambles to Dorney. Dorney attempted kick, nah. And Paige thinks she can take them all on. Umpire blows the whistle and that might be holding. Umpire throws it up. To Neil Toker won the rap that time. Killer her running hard. She could have probably had a chance to pick it up, and she does, and gets it out high. And no mark do there from Kilpatrick. Strange goes to pick it up. And Bethany Wood ends up picking it up instead. And gets it out back to the Bombers attacking 50. And a beautiful tackle from McDonald Stewart came from behind. Didn't see her coming at all. So she's paid the free kick. And it's another mark there from Stellmaker. She's played well. She's taken a lot of marks and quite a number of times has stopped the home side from scoring. So it's another mark from the Novas. A good kick and a good mark there from Ashley Page. Ashley Page goes to McDonald's Stewart and drops it and it goes out of the boundary and out onto the little hill where very few spectators are known to sit to watch home games and away games. If you're from another club, that's not Kalani Vale. Wood gets it out, and beautiful hands there from, is that Hannah Page? Yeah, that's Hannah Page. Beautiful hands from Hannah Page. Lucky today's not raining, so it would make it a bit harder to take marks. And as well as a bit of rainy weather, there will definitely be a lot of wind. And I think Dixie Butler was the shorter option. He snapped it and missed. So it'll be behind number four. So three goals for 22 to just one goal. If the Bombers play hard enough, they could possibly keep the away team scoreless for this quarter. A good kick from Kelleher. And Eslick gets it back. And, ta and takes the hands there from Acton and tackle. A good tackle. So it's a free kick to the Novas once again. And who's there? No one's there. 
Erin White almost gets away, tackled by Caitlin Sims. And tackled again from Kelleher. But umpire blows the whistle for it in the back. Peter Harvey is always a fair umpire. He's from Kalani Vale too. And Hanley almost wins a possession and finally manages to get it out. And a good run. A bit of a few metres covered from Melanie Roberts. A beautiful tackle from Courtney Barnett. <laughs> Who will she go to? She will go out to a Nova's player again. A lot of voice from Gemma Thomas who wants the football bad. Hanley takes the mark. After a bit of confusion. And it's a mark to Kate Hanley. A beautiful kick. And a good mark there from Simone Wood. She might be able to go for goal if she wishes not. She handles to Hanley. Hanley kicks and a good mark. I think that should have been a mark. Yeah, it's a mark from Carmen Lennon, the Bombers fullback. Lemon, Lennon goes out to Strange, and Strange dropped it. And I think the Nova's starting to fumble the football with their hands a little bit. A good kick from Strange, managed to get it out. Almost. And Strange goes over to Acton to give her assistance and gets the football and gets away with it ultimately. And goes out to Dixie Butler. Dixie Butler gets the football and kicks out to the fullback. Chiara Lamb. Went right for the fullback. And another good mark there by Kathy Steelmaker. And I think that might be another mark. And yet yeah, it's another mark from the Novas. Unfortunately, I didn't see who that was. And no mark there from Bethany Wood, which would have been a fairly easy chess mark. Well, I reckon she could have taken. And it goes out onto the full. And they're just taking it. Oh no, I thought they were like, trying to find it. They already did. So I uh, reckon that was McDonald's Stewart that threw it back in. And the umpire blows the whistle. Don't know what it's for. But he's blown it. And the trainer from Carnival is the one that throws it in this time. Nova's almost get away with the football. And almost again. Free kick Kalani Vale. <laughs> to Ashley Page. She needs to make a good option. Kalani Vale won another goal here. The ball's back in the home sides, attacking 50 metre zone. And the ball manages to quickly get out before Chiara Lamb quickly pops it back closer towards the midfield. Acton gets it out and is a bit too slow and it will be another throw in from the trainer. And already we've got quite a few of the first grade players from Newcastle City and Carnival rocking up, ready to start warming up as soon as the halftime siren goes in five minutes, 30 seconds. And another good kick there. This be a goal. And it's another goal. And it's a goal from Kelsey Acton. Beautiful goal from Kelsey Acton. Don't know if that's her first. Unfortunately, I haven't paid much attention to her when it comes to kicking goals. 
But when it comes to kicking and marking, I've certainly paid a bit of attention towards her. So to goal to Kelsey Acton. So four goals, four twenty-eight. The home side lead by. So twenty-two point lead over the Novas, who were cheered out by the Plate side, who won by eighty-seven points. To make them feel a bit welcomed to Adelaide Street Oval. But Ponyvale, I reckon they should take the cake today, despite it, it being not even half time yet. Still the second quarter. And now that's another behind. So four goals, 529. <coughs> and four goals, 10 seconds left. <coughs> And a, good, and a good kick there from the Novas. A good mark there from Chiara Lamb. And Lamb gets it out. Back to Ashley Page, who's a player on the other team. Kelsey Acton. And Chiara Lamb just couldn't catch up to her at all. And as I said, I reckon Kalani Vale will probably win today but this is but if they do this will be some very good news for them as their last two games should be a piece of cake for them Port Stevens at home and Walls End at Walls End a good kick from Dixie Butler and that's a goal from Dixie Butler all right so win this game and two easy last two games against Port and Swans and the third spot is theirs. Whereas today, I reckon the Novas will drop down to fifth spot. That is, if the Magpies end up beating Wolves End by a lot and end up keeping third spot, and Clonevale will move up to fourth. And Wyong lose to Maitland next week or Nelson Bay the week after. It's a good mark by Bell Jenkins. And Kalani Vale beat Port and Swans. And third spot is theirs. And Wyong will go down to fourth. And City Novas will stay at fifth. And that's all I reckon my prediction will be by the end of the season for Kalani Vale to secure a good spot for finals. And a good mark from Dixie Butler. Clonavale starting to make some wiser options. Oh, was that Hannah Page that quickly tried to take the mark? I think it might have been, but still no mark and the football goes out on the 50 towards the right price tyres sign. And just a short mark taken by Kilpatrick. And goes out to another pack of players on the Bombers Ford 50. And Eslick gets it out and the kick was smothered. Looked like she put her head down a bit there. She'll need to quickly get on a player such as I think that was Kilpatrick who almost took another mark. And another good kick from the Novas. Stellmaker running on hard. Can she get there in time? Yep. Stellmaker disposes of it quickly. Maggie Healy goes to pick it up. And another good handball. And Hanley gets it out to Ashley Flack. Just Kelleher quickly disposes of the football before anyone can try and tackle her. And just a soft, simple kick. Kelleher almost won the football. Ashley Flack goes to pick it up and decides not to. Kelleher takes the easy mark and plays on as well. And that was not necessarily the best idea. And Hanley might be able to have a shot. Taps it on the ground. Spoiled by Bell Jenkins. Spoiler alert. Oh, Cassie White is back on. 
Cassie White almost gets it out. White attempted tackle. And we have another tight contest in the Nova's Ford 50. And that is the halftime siren. It is the middle of the game. Bombers, five goals, five thirty-five. To Nova's still one goal six, and a lot of them all putting their heads down. And the three women's representative teams played last week, consisting of Central Coast, Newcastle, and Hunter, with all the clubs having a bye, so it's a weekend back to club footy, with Terra de Lavoca hosting another big show at East Gosford against the Power. Two Bayside teams, the entrance Bado Bay and Warners Bay, battling off the round at Bado Bay. A grand final rematch with Nelson Bay versus Newcastle City Stars at Dick Burwell Oval. A big one for the Blues after their first loss in the women's round to Warners Bay. Cardiff take on Maitland at Max McMahon Oval. The Singleton Roosters will play against Gosford at Rose Point Park. Lake Macquarie looking to return from the bye and a women's round home game loss to Singleton. A pumped and ready against Musselbrook at Tolkabar Oval and Wolves and Swans play host to the Magpies at Bill Elliott Oval.